Day 25, page 655, number 36. These types of problems, one approach is to start with an equation that has capacitance in it, and the most basic one is the definition of capacitance, which is C, capacitance equals Q, charge over voltage or potential difference, delta V. Let's just look at, look at the units for a second. So capacitance, if we convert into units, capacitance is in farads. We want to show that a farad has the basic dimensions of Q squared, T squared over ML squared. But let's start with this. F stands for farad here. I'm just showing you the units that coincide with the particular concepts in the equation. Q charge is in coulombs, so capital C there means coulombs, and uh, voltages, potential difference is in volts. So this second equation that I have is not really an equation, it's the units that go with the equation. Well, anyways, I want to show the right-hand side of this is equivalent to what they have at the top, Q squared, T squared over ML squared. All right, so here we go. Uh, I'm going to just do, go th through the steps here. So that's equal to, and I'm going to keep saying that the farad, well, the farads keep coming down. But a coulomb is fundamental. But a volt uh, is a joule per coulomb. That's what a volt is. All right, so now if I simplify that, a coulomb divided by joule per coulomb is a coulomb squared over a volt. I mean a joule, or oh, sorry. All right, it's a coulomb squared over a joule. Uh, a joule, if you remember from the definition, or if you don't remember from the definition, you can check it with like an equation. A joule is a unit of energy. You can check it with any energy equation. Like, for example, if I take the kinetic energy equation, there's many ways to do this problem, or you can have it memorized what a joule is in fundamental units. But here's what it is. Kinetic energy is one-half mv squared. And kinetic energy is in joules, so I'll convert to uh, units again. Forget the one-half. A joule is... The mass is kilograms, and velocity is meters per second, but squared is meters squared per second squared. So that's what a joule is. So I'll continue on with my analysis of a farad. A farad is a coulomb squared over a joule, which is a kilogram meter squared per second squared. So if I move things around there, get rid of that second squared in the numerator there, or move that second squared into the numerator, I get coulomb squared, second squared, over kilograms meter squared. And you might see where this is going. I think that's consistent with what we're trying to show. The dimensions now that we have in this particular, essentially the final step, shows me that I have, now going back to the concepts, coulomb there, C squared is a coulomb, that is charge, in other words, what we have on the right-hand side of this equation now is a charge, which is symbolized with a Q squared times a time squared over a mass times a length squared. So if we switch back into concepts, so on the left-hand side here, the dimensions for capacitance, switching back into sim uh, the concepts, this is a unit for a capacitance. That C means capacitance, is a Q squared times squared over a mass times a length squared. Back into the concepts. There we go. We've proven what we needed to prove.